What's going on guys? It's your boy Pokepond, back with another Pokemon video for you within the investment space. Big thank you to all the new subscribers on the channel, absolutely smashing it. Let's get into it. Right guys, it is a wonderful time to be alive and be a Pokemon collector. I feel like we are entering the golden age of Pokemon. Finally. <laughs> Actually, I think Sword and Shield was a really good block as well. Uh, Scarlet and Violet hasn't really kicked off yet, but 151 was huge, and I think there's going to be a lot of potential later on in the block. Um, recently, I've been talking quite a lot about Paradox Rift coming out. Uh, it's coming out very, very soon, in about a week's time. Um, and I've been I've been knocking it quite a bit just because I don't think it's a great set. Now we've seen the full set list that's going to come out, and we can see a few more of the uh, secret rares and stuff. I'm uh, I'm putting it up in my rating a bit. I've gone from saying that it's a rubbish set but an okay play because you can pick it up for pretty cheap to saying it's a mediocre to good set but the reason why i will not be investing in it is because i'm saving all my money for this so uh, i've been talking about this a couple of times on the channel so far um if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe to keep up to date on all the news on new sets coming and what's going to be good investments moving forward. I've been super excited about this set. Um, I've been saying that I've, I'm going to be saving and buying um, this set before I even saw the set list. Um, but a few days ago, the some of the set list got released and um, we got a bit more uh, media out about this set that's coming out in Japanese. Um, it is called Shiny Treasure EX and it's coming out at the start of December I believe the first week of December I think around about the 5th don't quote me on that um, yeah super excited for it it's going to be great so this is the next high class set um, essentially Jap Japan calls their like holiday sets high class sets um, the most notable last one to come out was uh, 151 in Japanese um, the one before that was uh, V Star Universe, uh, which was very hyped, and then before that, like V Max Climax, uh, Shiny V Star, etc. Japanese high class sets I really love. Um, I do collect them and invest in them quite heavily. Um, it's the only Japanese products that I pick up, the, the high class sets. I might look at getting some EV heroes in the future just because we know that uh, um, Evolved Skies was such a great set, but the prices are a bit mad. Um, but as far as like making financial plays, um, I think that this is going to be a huge set. Like I said, before we saw any of the set list, before I knew any of the cards that were going to be in it, as soon as they just um, trademarked the name uh, Shiny Treasures EX, I knew it was going to be the next high class set. I've known about this for probably about two to three months now, um, and I've just been saving up my money ready to buy this. Um, high class sets in Japanese always do really well um, you can see here uh, a few of the cards that will be featured um, there's a couple of the cards here we don't know the full set but we do know a few of them um, this is the big boy this is going to be the chase card in the set we have a Charizard chase card again uh, we have a shiny uh, Charizard EX sort of like alt art um they're calling it an ssr in japan as the set like rarity uh, i'm not quite sure what ssr stands for it's somewhere between like where you have sr which is like a super rare or like a speciality rare um but this is ssr so i guess when it comes to english it'll be like a a super secret rare or it might end up being like a secret are alternative rare i don't know i'm losing track with uh with what they're calling all these different rarities at the moment but uh this is definitely going to be the chase card of the set i'm looking forward to seeing more of the set and, and what's going to come out of it but either way i think this is going to be a huge set uh japanese is booming at the moment as well uh these are going to go out like hotcakes um you can usually pick up japanese sets for around about uh anywhere from like 75 dollars to about $90 for high class sets uh, when they first come out you can, I usually pick these up on eBay from reputable sellers and um, yeah 
like really excited to invest some money in this if you're not someone willing to invest in japanese product that's fair enough some people aren't um that's fine i am pretty certain i'm about 90 percent certain that this is going to get a full english release uh, about a month later in january so i believe this is going to be the next set after paradox rift into the new year and it's going to get a full english release um the last few high class sets from japan have had full english releases um most notably the most recent one was pokemon 151 which had a direct transfer over and became english 151 uh the one before that was v star universe which became our crown zenith um and before that v max climax however v max climax was like kind of released to us and split over like multiple sets so it was part of like brilliant stars and uh maybe silver tempest and a couple of other sets anyway uh but it ended up getting split up but it seems like the um english sets are now starting to just copy the japanese high class sets probably just because it's easier for them admin wise just to release it and there's probably more hype around them this is an absolutely beautiful card i think this is going to go for decent money it all just depends on like printing numbers though once it comes into uh into english the thing i like about uh japanese product is uh, the chase cards seem to uh, most recently hold their value a little bit better um, so yeah and I feel like more and more people are, are moving into collecting uh, uh, Japanese products and Japanese sealed products especially as well they're doing really well as investments um, high class sets in sealed booster boxes have always historically done well we can have a look at a few of the last ones so it's Charizard again um, most recently 151 obviously we knew this was a hyped set this hasn't even been out that long um, this is the japanese booster box uh 161 dollars uh sold just uh yesterday or today even um my clock's actually wrong it's the 27th today um so this sold today in us ebay 161 dollars uh there's one here selling today as well for 186 obviously that did really well if you invested into that for a decent price uh then you will do well um set before that which is a bit more of a normal uh set release because it doesn't have the nostalgia of the original 151 this was a really good high class set v star universe you've probably heard about it it was quite overly hyped um i've got a lot of this in my collection really hasn't been out that long and it's already going for about 101 dollars um you could pick these up not too long ago for around about 80 dollars so you're seeing a decent uh 20 profit already um in in not much time at all uh before that uh was v max climax that's been out a little bit longer now you can see that the longer they've been out they start to go up in value v max climax is a great set um you can see them selling here again today um for uh, 161 dollars 144 dollars like i said you could pick up v max climax up until probably uh a just a few months ago you could get these for around about uh, 80 90 dollars i bought uh, a few of these on release for about 70 dollars um, and they were selling for about six months for 70 dollars so really really solid investment and then um, the set before that as well shiny star v again starting to creep up in value 117 dollars 157 uh, dollars but i feel like japanese is going strength to strength now i feel like these came out when japanese wasn't as widely collected i feel like loads more people are going into it now and i think uh shiny treasures ex is going to be an absolutely huge set and it's going to be a fantastic investment i'm going to scoop up loads of this but as i said if you don't want to pick up the japanese version this is what it's going to look like if you don't want to pick up the japanese version then uh just just hold fire save your money till january january we should get a full release of this in english as well and it's going to be an absolutely massive set people are going to go bananas over it so uh yeah
those are my top tips for uh, where to put your money. Why put it in now into Paradox Rift when you can uh, save your money and buy some of this or, or in January buy the English version. So uh, yeah, just wanted to do a quick video this week to uh, uh, just discuss that uh, because we had the news and a few of the cards revealed. So happy to see the big Charizard, the big lizardy boy as the chase card. It just cements in my mind what I already knew that this is going to be an absolutely huge set and a fantastic investment. Just look how beautiful this card is. This is all textured around here as well. It's a bit over the top. Some people are going to love it. Some people are going to hate it. I think it's, it's unique. <laughs> it's different and I like that uh, things are moving in a different in a different way uh, not really sure about his headpiece but uh, yeah it looks cool I think it's going to do really really well it's going to be a solid investment especially if you hold this for multiple years you put these away for five years you're gonna gonna do very well I think um, and that's what I plan to do so yeah hope you guys enjoyed uh, make sure you do subscribe to the channel if you're new around here uh, always keep up to date with all the new pokemon news and investment plays that i've noticed in the market even if i'm not going to invest in them myself i will point them out to you just in case you haven't seen it hope you guys enjoyed hope you have a wonderful day and peace